square root of 7 by 5 whole power 3x minus 5 is equal to 875 by 2401. 4a by b power 6x minus y equals 2a by b power y minus 6x. Seems like a uh, rather tough question, but it's, it's actually not. And so 4a by b for all non-zero real values of a and b. And so this, I know 2401 is a power of 7. That really helps. 49 square is 2401. So this is 7 power 4. And I was looking for this being a power of 5, which it was not. But 875, I know, is 1000 into 7 by 8. And so, so this number can be written as 125 into 7 by 7 power 4. Or this is 5 by 7 whole cube is equal to 7 by 5 whole power 3x minus y by 2, square root of 7 by 5. And so this is 5 by 7 whole cube, this is 7 by 5 power this. So this number is 7 by 5 power 7 by 5 power minus 1 is 5 by 7. 7 by 5 power minus 2 is 5 by 7 whole square. So it becomes minus of this and it should become equal to this. So I can rewrite this as this is 5 by 7 whole power y minus 3x by 2 minus of that is equal to 5 by 7 whole cube. Beautiful question because you have to crack that thing or y minus 3x by 2 is this y minus 3x is equal to 6. Y f minus 3x by 2 is equal to this. This question I got confused because there's a 4a by b here and a 2a by b here. But this says for all non-zero real values of a and b, for all values is equal or this should be 0, this should be 0. Both should go to 0. Therefore, anything power 0 is anything power 0. It goes to 1, doesn't work. It goes to 2, it doesn't work. For all values of non-zero values of a and b, so there's, got to, there's going to be an a and b remaining. Even if I put a and b to, to, to in some form the power to be equal, there's a 4 and 2 remaining. Only thing that will work is 0. 6x minus y should be equal to y minus 6x equal to 0 or y is equal to 6x. 6x minus 3x is equal to 6. 3x is 6. x is 2. y is 12. x equal to 2, y equal to 12 satisfies all of this. Value of x plus y is 2 plus 12, 14.